Essential question. What are the positive and Are electronic devices good for us? Point, counterpoint. Plug in. Kids need to spend time using electronic devices. Do you love to surf the internet, listen to music, IM, and talk on a cell phone? You are not alone. A recent study has some surprising news. Kids in the United States between the ages of 8 and 19 spend seven and a half hours a day on electronic devices. These include computers, smartphones, and video games. Some adults try to advance the idea that these devices waste kids' time. However, some research surveys say this idea is inaccurate. In fact, the data show that technology can benefit kids. Critics say that kids stare at computers and TVs all day long and do not get enough exercise. The facts stand in counterpoint to this belief. One study compared kids who use media a lot to those who do not. The heavy media users actually spent more time in physical activity than light media users. One study by the National Institutes of Health says that action video games may help increase kids' visual attention. In addition, using interactive media can give kids good structure for learning. It can also help them learn to switch tasks effectively. Kids also need to use the web to access information. Many argue that learning to use the web responsibly sharpens kids' reasoning abilities. Today's world is wired, and not just for fun. The jobs of the future depend on kids who plug in, a source of news for teens. For the latest news, teens used to rely on newspapers, television, and magazines. See how many teens now get their news online. Graph labels. All online teens, 12 through 17, 62%. Younger teens, 12 through 13, 49%. Older teens, 14 through 17. 68%. Counterpoint point. Tuned out. Electronic media is harming kids. Are kids tuning out by tuning in to electronic devices? An alarming report states that young people spend an hour more per day on computers, smartphones, television, and other electronic media than they did five years ago. Nearly seven out of ten kids have cell phones. Just five years ago, four out of ten had them. Are these devices harmless or hurtful to the well-being of young people? A close analysis of several studies shows that there are plenty of disadvantages to these devices. The Internet is supposed to be a great tool for learning. Do kids who love computers do better in the classroom? To cite one report, access to electronic devices does not automatically bring high marks in school. See the graphs below. The effect of media use on grades. These pie graphs show how the use of media affects grades. Heavy media users. 51% good grades. 47% fair, poor grades. Moderate media users. 65% good grades. 31% fair, poor grades. 3% School doesn't use grades. Light media users, 60% good grades. 23% fair, poor grades. 10% school doesn't use grades. Many young people use more than one electronic device at a time. Some argue that the devices get kids involved and help them make friends. Claims like these are incorrect. A study done by the Pew Research Center discusses teenagers' use of online social networks. Teens do this to keep in touch with friends they already have, not to make new ones. In addition, trying to meet people online can be dangerous. There are other serious drawbacks to new technology. One is issue is multitasking or trying to do too many tasks at the same time. Is it possible to do more than one task at a time well? Some studies say kids' thinking improves when they do several tasks at once. Still, experts point out 
that much more research needs to be done on this. New electronic devices hit stores every year. Kids should know that there is more to life than what they see on a screen. The effects of using electronic devices on kids will continue to be studied. These devices seem to be here to stay.